Welcome to the world of DSX. For the sake of this demo today, we have infinite energy and infinite ammo. <clears throat> Hold on. Adam. Hey, you sound like shit. How you feeling? A little sore, but uh, be all right. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so I've gotta get checked out. But if you want to meet or what? No, no, no. I'm fine, man. You just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? All right, I will. Talk to you soon. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday, Look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Adam Jensen was caught in a terrorist attack, and now we're 30 hours later and we wake up in his apartment. Adam Jensen tries to recollect himself. He seems like he has some problems with his augmentations, and now he needs to take care of that. The thing is that in the world of mankind divided in 2029, two years after human revolution, and there are a lot of problems in society, a lot of division, a lot of tension, and a lot of companies like the Limb Clinics that are focusing on transhumanist technologies are going bankrupt. And now Adam Jensen will have to rely on some underground stuff. So Adam now is fresh, he smells good, he's clean, he's almost ready to go into his new adventure. But before we're going to look around a little bit his apartment, in true DSX style, there are plenty of things to discover. There are a lot of readables, pocket secretaries, ebooks, computers, where we can learn about Adam Jensen's motivation, the organization he's working for the state of the world. There's also a lot of emails that he can read, some of his colleagues at Task Force 29 asking him to go see them, etc, etc. We're not going to show all of the details today in the apartment, but for instance, uh, here we can go onto the television, we can watch the news, or you can even call back your old boss David Sarif, and that can unleash a totally optional mission that is not part of the critical path experience. But for today, we're going to focus on the main adventure and go out in the open. Miller, it's Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack, 
The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. So it seems Jensen's friend Vaclav Kohler has some problem with local mobsters. We're going to go shortly to see what's going on there. But in the meantime, we're going to look a little bit at the city. Here we're still in the apartment complex where Adam Jensen lives. Of course, we can explore all the apartments and discover loot, discover story about a lot of things. Now we're in the city hub itself. We're in the poor district of Prague and there's a lot of augmented people living in that district. As you can see, there are a lot of police forces looking around and making sure that everybody's staying in check. There's a lot of paranoia, there's a lot of tension. License, permit, voucher, document of authority, temporary pass, travel coupon and or certificate of authenticity. Good old days, we just asked for ID. Good old days are gone. Hm, haven't seen one of these before. Orange level. You are some kind of badass? Just someone with a job to do. And the tools to do it, obviously. Go on through. Fortunately, Adam Jensen has his papers in order but he's still an augmented citizen and there's no discrimination on that end. Like police are going to check everything and make sure that you're complying to what's needed. Because in this world, police are just looking for an excuse to send you to some ghettos. Here we can see the metro station. It's another example where the uh, segregation is institutionalized. We have the natural line and also we have the uh. augmented line to take the subway. If you take the line for the naturals, chances are that the police are going to ask your papers and they're going to arrest you. But if you use the line for augmented citizen, you'll be able to breeze your way through and get to the district you want to go without being bothered. And through the SX fashion, you can talk to all the characters in the world. You can learn more about their own stories, about some of the things happening in the world. You can also get some hints about certain places, etc. So it's up to you to discover all these things. Now we're getting close to our friend Vaclav Kohler and we're going to show you some of the options to get to him. There are always more than one way to get Don't where we want to go. There's a blockade here, let's see what it is. Doc Larry, Doc Larry, show me latest papers. Otherwise you cannot go through here. I know the drill. For the sake of this demo, we just shortened this conversation. But basically, what you discover is that those police officers want you to pay some fee to go around and, and get to your destination. As you go and explore that side mission, depending on how you play, it can be a very short uh, story that can last maybe 10, 15 minutes. But you can dig deeper and deeper and end up into a story that can spawn for over an hour and you discover that those fake police officers are extorting uh, augmented people that are out of hope. And you'll be able to make a difference. We're going to look at the right side of the police blockade and it seems like there's another path so let's explore it to see what it is i would have found him street is off limits or your buck private function all businesses are temporarily closed it seems that Private those guys are the the valley gangsters our friend uh, kohler was talking about so since we don't want to create chaos here today we're going to look for another option in Mankind Divided, we really wanted to expand on the exploration aspect of the game and verticality is a big part of it. And as you see here, there's an apartment upstairs with a flickering light and there's probably a way to get there and also to go around the blockades that we've seen and maybe get to our friend without disrupting the peace in the city. That's an example on how we can exploit uh, the verticality. There are objects in the world that we can interact with and now we're able to reach higher ground. 
depending however of the augmentations that you have you might be able to get there without the use of the environment so depending on how you build your Adam Jensen how you decide to exploit his capabilities you'll be able to get in places in different ways or not at all as you can see here something happened and that is a story that we're not going to fully explore today but as you play the game you'll be able to understand what happened with those people. Hacking is back. Like in Human Revolution, you have to Anomaly go from detected. one end of the network to Trace the other end. Initiated. But this time around, security systems have more protections that you have to overcome, like booby traps. But also as a player, you're going to have more Access softwares granted. to use to try to circumvent the challenges. I can tell you that this time around the gameplay is going to be more tactical than it was in the last game. So it's going to require a little bit more skills to hack uh, some of those networks. But let's continue to our friend Kohler. And yes, Adam Jensen loves air vents. Exploring all around and all in the little corners of the map is really important because you can find a lot of loot, a lot of secret things. And here, for example, we have a pocket secretary. We're not going to open it today, but it's just to show you that those little devices have codes, passwords, things like that, that can allow you to get to secret places that otherwise would be more difficult to reach. So now we have past our friends the Davali mobsters and also we passed around the police blockade and now we're getting close to our objective. This is the Time Machine, it's a book shop that is owned by Vaclav Kohler and now his Davali friends are trying to find him. The thing is that he's hiding uh, somewhere in his building and uh, now they're trashing the place, shooting everywhere, trying to make him come out of his hiding because apparently he owes them money. This is the smart vision. You can see the weapons enemies carry, the loot they have, if they have pocket secretaries, the kind of ammo they have. So it can be really interesting if you're the kind of tactical player to, to know which ones are more interesting to take down or not, depending on your playstyle. So today we're not going to pass through the main door because we don't want to start the fight right away. We're going to stealth our way around with cloaking. I was talking about verticality, so it means that when you fall from higher ground you make more noise and enemies can hear the noise you're producing. So even if you're using like here the cloaking, even if they don't see you, they will hear you. So it can be a very good idea to combine different augmentations together to have an added value. So in this case, not only you're totally invincible, but people cannot hear you at all. So you're the perfect stealth agent. Takedowns are back, lethal or non-lethal as always, but this time around now you can perform them from cover. <laughs> we avoided the main entry point to get to our friends, so there's the delivery entrance here, but the door is locked. We're going to look for another option to get in. It seems that we have a, an opening on the roof. And what is important is that when you get to a location like Color Time Machine, there are always more than one way to get inside. Looking at your environment is really key for your success. Now we're using the Tesla gun arm, which is a new augmentation that Adam Jensen has, that allows us to take down enemies non-lethally. And when you fully upgrade this augmentation, you can take out up to four enemies at once. It can be really interesting, especially if you're a non-lethal fighter. I love cats. Here the stun gun. As you're going to see, it has a similar effect as the Tesla gun arm, but it shoots one single bullet at once and you have to be at very close range to hit your target. So depending on your gameplay style, you might want to invest in the gun arm or you might want to keep those praxis points for other augmentations and rely on the stun gun. So it's really up to the players to really craft the Adam Jensen they want. 
here we could have gone through that bookshelf that is on the side and we could have climbed up to the second floor. But for today's presentation, we're going to take a different path. We just used the silenced pistol, which can be very deadly and very quiet. Here's another gun arm, the nanoblade gun arm. It allows you to throw the nanoblades and you can kill very quickly and without too much noise enemies. And also you can have an upgrade that allows you to really charge the nanoblade and once you shoot it, it's going to explode after a few seconds and you can take down several enemies at once because it has a 360 effect. We're getting closer to our objective. And now we just use a toxic gas grenade. And everybody in the radius of the grenade is going to be affected. This guy has been lucky until now. Fortunately for this demo, Adam Jensen had the augmentation that protects you against it, otherwise you would have suffered from the same consequences as our Devali friends. Now we're in Kohler's office. Apparently the mobsters looked around, but they didn't find the secret spot to find Kohler. Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. Earlier on I was talking about readables in the universe and here we have another example of newspapers. There are different stories that you can discover and some of those stories can be influenced by what you achieve yourself. In some side missions or even on the critical path. Here our De Valley friends forgot to look at this weird red book. It seems that Kohler loves augmentations quite a bit. Here's Kohler's lab. And I was talking about exploration earlier. There are always secrets to find. And here you have another example. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? Nothing I couldn't handle. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that demo. The game is out on August 23rd. See you soon.